Hotel Boo. All praises to the Makula neck roof, everything you do, making all my dreams wish to come true. I love you, baby. Back with another one real quick, like day 7-20-2022. Today we just want to talk about a little go over a couple of maps I found and a couple of things we see on these maps that are a question, you understand? And we're gonna be real quick with this. Right, we're gonna talk about Pangea a little bit. Right, as we can see here, this was what was known as Pangea when the earth was all one. It was connected together. Notice around Pangea we have the Tethys and the Panthalassa Ocean. You see? In the Greek mythology, this would be what we call Tethys and Oceanus. Right, the brother and sister Titans that were two of the 12 Titans that were the children of Uranus and Gaia, which is heaven and earth, you see, in the Greek mythology. So we have Tethys and Oceanus. Now, Tethys and Oceanus would be likened to the waters of Noon and Nunet, or Nut, right, in the Kemetic teaching. You know, the waters of noon is also symbolic of the primordial abyss above. You understand? Because as above, so below. So you had the primordial waters above, you had the primordial waters below. We want to take note also that the word Oceanus sounds a lot like Oshun. You understand? which is also a water spirit, dealing with love and beauty and things. You understand? The same energy as Venus and Aphrodite, if you will. Right? But it's more of a water, more um, more of a water spirit. You understand? Right? But we also have Olakun, right? And this is coming from the Yarba teachings. You see? The Yarba people migrated from the Happy Valley. Years and years ago, you understand? So, we have similar concepts. Now, the waters of Olakun, well, Olakun is actually the waters. You understand what we call the depths of the ocean, the abyss of the ocean, you understand? You know, so when we talk the watery abyss, we want to talk Olakun. But when we say Oshun, you understand? Oshun and Ocean, Oceanus. You understand? A uh, ocean, you see, are uh, very synonymous. Now, this is Olakun. You understand? This is a statue of Olakun with the fish tail and the crown. You see? With the trident, the trishula of Asa, of Shiva, you see? Looks a lot like Poseidon. You understand? Damn, it looks the exact same. Right? Lord of the earth and sea. This is another look at Olakun. You understand? With the two fish tails. Looking a lot like. This right here. You see? Olakun, right? That takes us here to Nu and Nunet, the primordial water abyss. You understand the primordial watery abyss? Nu, which is the end and the Ankh. The Ankh, though, you understand? That's a different story. But this is another look at Pangea. In one of our last videos, we broke down Atlantis. We revealed the location of Atlantis and Mauritania, Africa, as well as the destruction of Atlantis and what destroyed it, the dragon of Morocco. You understand? Now we want to take note of the location of Atlanta, Georgia. All right? All things are connected. You understand? We see Mexico, 
right? Was also not too far from Atlantis. When we talk the Maya, the Maya, the Mayat people, the Mayato people, you understand, or the Yucatan. You see? This is just a a look with the modern countries. Alright, this is another look at it. This is another look at it. Around 240 million years ago. All right, and it was broken down. Pangaea later split into two continents known as Gondwana and Laurasia. Gondwana would be what we see South America, Africa, India, Antarctica, and Australia. And all of those people are connected. You understand? We look up here, we got North America, Europe, West Asia, China thing. You understand? That's Laurasia. As they say, this is a, a map, another look at the continental drill. You see? Got Gondwana land, and we got Laurasia. Boom. Now, this is Gondwana land, right? Formed about 550 million years ago. Now, when we look at the definition of Gondwana land, right, we see that it's an Indian word. It says from the late 19th century, originally denoting any of a series of rocks in India, especially fluvial shells and sandstones. From the name of a region in central northern India from Sanskrit, Gondwana, for some gun. You see? So it's actually an Indian word. That brings me here. It's a couple of things we want to break down. The connection of the Madagascar people, the Indian people, as well as the Aborigines in Australia. Notice this flag here. All right, this is the flag of Madagascar. This is the flag of the Australian Aborigine. Hmm. Looks similar. You understand? The Aborigines of Australia populate Tasmania as well. And the Twee Islands, the Tiwi Islands, you understand? Twee, that's Pata. Morseful. You see? We also want to look at the Dravidian peoples of India. Now, when we look at these people, these are the people of Madagascar. You see? Notice the paint on the face. You know what I mean? See, one thing we notice about European people, nowhere in European history do we see them painting their face. As we do with tribal people. This is Australia. All right? This is Madagascar. You see? Now we want to take a look at the Dravidian peoples of India. See what the hell they look like. Boom, same people. The same exact people, family. Good God Almighty. The same people, family. Got Madagascar, India, Australia. You also got Antarctica. Hmm. 
I wonder what's down there. We also got South America. You see? The Brazilians and thing. Or the native Brazilians. You know? Because there were also indigenous people there before, you know, Africans and things were brought there. Both of these people were of a darkly, deeply melanated complexion. Right? This is the Baobab tree. The Baobab tree is what connects all of these people. You understand? This is called the tree of life. Right, the baobab tree is found in Madagascar, the mainland of Africa, Asia, as well as Australia. You see, the baobab tree, you understand. Let's look at what these Brazilian people look like. All of these people are connected, family. Gondwana land, all of these people were the same identical people. And we see how it was possible for our ancestors to circumnavigate the world, right? It wasn't that hard. Boom, these are the Brazilian people. Now, of course, like I say, today they're a little lighter in complexion due to the Portuguese and things. But if we can read between the lines, you understand? Seeking we shall find. You understand? Brazilian people. You see, moving on, this is a map from the 14, 1450s. This is a medieval map, considered one of the greatest maps of the medieval time. The Frey Morrow map. I want to take note that Morrow is the Greek word for black. From, that's what we get the word more, right? From Moros. This is the Frey Morrow map, right? This would be Africa. You understand? This would be Iberia and the Strait of Gibraltar and things. This would be Europe. This is a little jumbled up. Right? It's a lot to take in now. But if we can zoom in the things, get a good look in there. He has a lot of little sea monsters and things all throughout the waters. You see, this takes me to another map, the Genoese map. You understand? That was published by uh, this man right here. Right where well, the author is unknown, but it was according to his information. He was a sailor, a traveler for the, uh, the Genoa the um region of Genoa, right? The, the Genoa province. That was old, um, whatever. This is the Genoese map, right? It was located in, in Italy. So this is an Italian view of the ancient world. Well, not the ancient world, but the medieval world, excuse me. This is the Red Sea. All right, this be African things. All right, but we want to take a look down here. And we see a couple points of entry. Right. We'll take a look at that right there. And that right there, we found a couple of mermaids and things. This is another look at it. You see? Oh, it looks a lot like, that's a zoomed in image of it. Get a 
clear picture. But that looks a lot like this right here. It's a lot like this right here. The no mo. You understand? We look right here. And we look right here. The primordial ancestral spirits and Dogon teachings. The Dogon people also come from the Happy Valley. You understand? The no mo. You see? The Nomo that was said to be fish-like beings, they came from the Sirius star system. You understand? Oh, another look at it. Hmm. Oh. Somebody made this right here. What do you say? Boom, look at that pizza. That's a good ass pizza right there. We look at that right here and we look right here. Hmm. Half fish, half human. Classic mermaid. You know what I'm saying? From the serious star system. You see? These are the Nomo, right? Here we want to look at Japan. This is a map of Asia. This is India, right? We come out the coast of Japan. We find us a couple of mermaids, right? We have a tropical council. You understand? Right under the tropic of the mother. We have tropical mermaids. You understand? My words were the mama waters. You see? The ocean is. The patamoy, right? The ocean and the river spirit. Here's another look at it. Zoomed in. Got us a whale looking creature. Got us another horned fish looking think thing, you know what I'm saying? This is the world map according to a right of things, right? Because what we gotta understand is that the Sahara Desert, most of what we call the Sahara Desert was underwater, it was the ocean. So this is actually Libya. This was what a lot of African, uh, Europeans viewed as Africa, right? So we go back to the stories, like a plate on things, you see, you go outside the Strait of Gibraltar, the Pillars of Hercules, and you will find Atlantis. Now, Atlantis was right down here, right under Libya. You see what I'm saying? You had Libya, you had Atlantis, and then you had Ethiopia, which was not here. Ethiopia was actually under under Libya. You understand? That was the European mind. All right? We can see the Nile. They didn't even know the origins of the Nile. Hell, some of them thought that Nile began in the Atlas Mountains. As we can see here with, with this Herodotus. Right, it's a 450 BC. This is 220 BC. Right, right as things. We go to Herodotus. We see the same same shebang but we see the Nile instead of coming down coming from south we got the Nile coming from the Atlas Mountains right we got the Ethiopian Ocean that's actually what it was called under Libya it was called the Ethiopian Ocean and then you had the Atlantic Ocean or the Atlantic Sea the Atlantic Sea by Atlantis you understand but this was known as the Ethiopian Ocean right we got the Atlas Mountains which is the dragon, the Draco, black dragon. You understand? We had the uh, Australian Sea. 
You understand? Boom. This is Africa. This is the old world map of Africa. Right, once again, you see the Ethiopian Ocean. But this is an entire view of Africa. You understand? We have Barbaria, which is the land of the Berbers. You understand? We got Maritania things, West Africa. We come over here. We got Nubia. Nubia which is Sudan, you understand? Modern day Sudan and thing. You understand? Then we got Madagascar down here. They give a couple of people, a couple of examples of African people. Abyssinia, that's the Ethiopian, so they, so they say. Madagascar, Guinea man, you understand? This is another look at it. Well, it was actually a different map. We we'll see the Atlan, Atlan Sea. All right. Mediterranean Sea. You see? See another dragon looking creature right here. Okay, and we see a different lineup of people. So this is a different map. It looks the same, but it's di actually different. All right. This is another look at it. Notice we got all kind of fish and things. You see, Negrita. We also want to take note of the Negrito people of Asia. All right, we got Nubia once again. All right, the Negrita. Now, we want to pull up something right quick. The Negrito are the people, the native people of Asia. Negrito refers to several diverse ethnic groups who inhabit isolated parts of Southeast Asia in the Andaman, Andaman Islands. The Negrito, you see? Boom. The Negrito people. Look at it right here. The Negrito people, the Patois. You see? Negrita. All right. Moving on. Here's another look at Africa. We see Libya. We got Egypt down here. We got Ethiopia. Hey, look at that right there. Who the hell put that right there? I wonder. Goddamn dragon. Where is it at? Looks around to me where Atlantis was. Right. Looks like somebody was trying to guess their way around. Right. That's close enough though. So apparently there were stories in the ancient world about said things existing. Cause they damn sure put it on her. The dragon of Morocco, my G. Now just what the hell is a creature like this doing on a map like this here? I don't even know where he is from. But it's a map. Moving on. This is Madagascar. This is another, I don't know what the hell that is. 
But if y'all can find out, you let me know. All right? This is Iceland things. All right? This is in between Iceland and Scandinavia. Scandinavia was Finnmark and all that shit. Uh, Finland, Norway, Denmark, Sweden. All right? This area right here. Norway, Sweden, Denmark, Iceland, right? Icelandia. You see, we zoom in here. We find ourselves a dragon. Boom, right off the coast of Helgala. Helgala. It's Hegeland off of the coast of Germany. So that's somewhere up in here. All right, so we got dragons there as well. We got dragons all around this motherfucker. It's a Hegeland, a Legoland, or Helgoland, tomato, tomato, potato, potato. Obatala, Obatala. You see? This is another map of the Gutlands. This is Luxembourg. Luxembourg, um, which is in Europe. You understand? Now, what's interesting about Gutlands, the word gut and good is actually the same word. <laughs> God, good, gut, and goth. You dig, or the gothic people. It's actually the same word. All right, Gutland. Means the good land, you understand? Of Luxembourg, you understand? The good lands. Then we see a Capricorn or a fucking seahorse thing, and you know all kind of things. Sea monsters, you see? This is North America and Canada, right? We got Terra, the Labrador. This is Newfoundland and Labrador, right? Off of the coast of Canada. We found some more shit. You understand? This is Labrador. In Newfoundland. All right. Let me pull this up right quick. Newfoundland and Labrador. somewhere up in here right now this is a toucan family this is a toucan you know from the fruit loop box and thing I'm pretty sure we all familiar with the toucan look like but are we familiar with this look like family That's also a toucan. Right above Newfoundland and Labrador. That's a toucan family. Hmm. Stranger things. And we're gonna leave on that note. That's about all for now. And until next time, signing out, Chief Bitch Shoulders. More worse for.